Hi everybody, I'm Rosemary and in today's video I have another 20 more Dollar Tree Shower Caddy Organization Hacks, this time focusing on the garage, basement, and laundry. This is actually part 3 of a series and in part 1 I covered bath, hair, makeup, accessories, and jewelry, and in part 2, kitchen and pantry. And I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check those out. But for this video, I'm going to kick things off with cleaning supplies and I'll be using a shower caddy just as is. Now these caddies can be found in the bath section of the Dollar Tree and what's really nice about these is that they're almost always in stock. What's also nice is the front section here is large enough to accommodate several regular sized bottles, in this case cleaning supplies. But in order to conserve some space on top, I'm going to take this trigger bottle and hang it from the bottom shelf. In addition, I'm going to take one of these mesh bags, these come three to a pack, and then just slide it onto the bottom hooks through the holes in the mesh. Then I can fill the bag with some dust cloths and microfiber towels. And then here you can see how the whole unit comes together with the mesh bag, trigger bottles, and the other cleaning supplies up top, all hanging on the back of a door using an over the door hook. Next, I'm going to make another cleaning supply organizer, but this time I'm going to take the regular caddy and then just add one of these utility hooks to the bottom. Now, I just wanted to point out that Dollar Tree does sell two different sizes of these hooks, but I'm going to go ahead and use the smaller one for this project. Then, I'm just going to attach it to the bottom of the caddy with a couple of zip ties. And to secure the zip tie, you simply place the end through the lock and pull tight. And I'm going to go ahead and do that on both sides. And then you just go ahead and cut off the tails. And then here you can see the finished project. The hooks can be used to hold brooms, mops, and dusters. And then you still have space on the bottom shelf for some sponges and brushes. And then again, the cleaning supplies in the little pocket up front. And then another option would be to hang both of them side by side. They are compact enough to fit on a standard size door and you can attach them with a multi hook over the door hook. Next, I'll be heading into the laundry and I wanted to start by making a laundry product slash drying rack combo. And so to make, I'm going to take one of these Dollar Tree cooling racks and just zip tie it there to the bottom of the shower caddy. And then again, just go back and cut off the tails. And then from here, you can see how those zip ties create a hinge between the rack and the caddy. Next, I'm going to take one of these chain link plant hangers and I only need two of the three chain links. So I'm going to remove one of those. And then with the two remaining, I'm going to hook those on to the bottom of the rack. Then I can use the hook at the top of the hanger to pull the rack up and secure it in place. And then here you can see how it would hang when it's not in use. We just hang flat, but then when you need it, you could pull it up and hook it on to the top. To get it straighter, I did hook it onto the hook itself and that creates a nice space for some things that need to air dry. And if you need it larger, you can do two side by side. Another option for the rack attachment would be to create a lost sock holder. And you can do that by just zip tying on some of these wood clothespins to the rack. Now I was able to get two rows of clothespins attached, one at the top and one at the bottom. One zip tie would probably do, but if you prefer, you can do two zip ties as well. And then here is the laundry caddy with the lost sock attachment. And as you can see, you still have space to add some other laundry items as well. A big hit from the previous videos in this series was to create standalone countertop caddies. And I do that by using wire cutters to clip off the bottom hooks, then zip tie two caddies back to back. I use three zip ties down one side, then fold it in half and add three zip ties down the other side. For the caddies in this video, I'm also going to add these mesh pencil cups and I'm going to just attach those with these small black zip ties. Now these are nice because they fit right through the small uh, holes of the mesh and I'm going to kind of do them cat a corner one to each side. First, I did a laundry caddy, which is a great option if you live in an apartment that has a communal laundry room. And you can fit bleach, softener, even small bottles of laundry detergent. And the stain sticks and pens can go in the cups with space underneath for dryer sheets. Next, I did a cleaning caddy with space for cleanser, all-purpose cleaner, furniture polish, and air fresheners up top, gloves and brushes in the cups, and cleaning cloths in the space down below. Next up, I'm gonna corral some flashlights and batteries using just a plain, as-is, shower caddy. 
you can see how nicely the standard size flashlights fit into the main compartment, then batteries can go in one of the white Dollar Tree organizing bins on the shelf below. And the hooks at the bottom make great holders for the battery operated lanterns. To create a battery organizer, I took one of the caddies and folded the top rung down and back. Then I took one of the organizer bins and zip tied it to the frame, placing one zip tie to each side and threading it through the weave of the basket. I'll use two more organizer bins on the shelves below to hold various batteries of different sizes. And then here you can see both caddies hanging on the wall. Now, since the batteries and the flashlights are heavier items, I did hang them off of a screw that I did screw into a stud in the wall. Next up is a couple of tool organizers, starting with a screwdriver organizer. And to make, I'm going to take one of the organizer bins and place it face down on the caddy, covering the first two rungs, and then zip tie in place. I'm going to add one zip tie to each side at the top, and then go down underneath and go ahead and add one zip tie to each side on the bottom as well. But then later on, um, after I was using it, I realized that it really needed to be a little stronger, so I did go back and add three zip ties to the top middle. But once the bin is in place, you can go back and just add your screwdrivers, just sliding them through the slots in the bin. And then the slots on the bottom shelf can be used to hold pliers and wire cutters. I made another tool organizer by taking the caddy and utility hook combo, like the one from the cleaning caddy, and then again folded down the top rung and attached one of the white organizing bins. I then took another one of the organizing bins and attached that to the caddy a little further up the handle. In the bins, I could add wrenches and ratchet sets. And then on the shelves below, I used some of these food containers to hold screws and hooks as well as one of these acrylic three-piece sets to also add some more screws and other hardware. I'll use the hooks at the bottom for tools. And then here you can see both of the tool caddies hanging side by side. And again, since these are holding heavier items, I did use a screw attached to a stud to hang these. Now, of course, you can make multiples of these and in different combinations to suit your needs. Next up are a couple of car care caddies. And for the first one, I'm going to use a regular caddy with just one of the nylon bags attached there at the bottom to hold the different cleaning cloths. You can use the shelf for mitts and sponges and the top section for car wash products. For the second car care caddy, I'm going to be using the caddy and hook combo. And again, in that center section, some nice large sponges could fit there and other car cleaning products. And then the hooks below can hold brushes, squeegees, and the like. And then here are the two side by side. And you can see where both of them together creates ample space for all of your car care needs. And then in addition, car care products would also make a great option for those standalone caddies. You can fit the cleaning products and large sponges there in the top sections, and then brushes and mitts in the cups and cloths down below. Another category often in need of organizing is garden tools, and the caddy hook combo makes a great option. Kneeling pads and gloves fit well in the upper compartment, while tools and clippers can hang on the hooks below. Items like plant food can go on the shelf, and once you have it hanging on the wall, you can add watering cans and spray bottles to the sides. The little standalone caddies are another great option for gardening tools. However, you will need to make some adjustments to properly fit the gardening items. As you can see on one side of the caddy, I removed the middle shelf with some wire cutters. And then on the other side of the caddy, I kept the middle shelf, but removed three of the spokes so that the handles of the gardening tools could fit in. To better hold the tools in place, I also added a large rubber band. So I just slid that rubber band right around the bottom of the caddy and up above that middle shelf. Now when I place the tool handles inside, I place them underneath of the rubber band and then through the holes that I made in the shelf. And then here you can see the adjusted caddy. There are the three tools sitting nicely in the one side with the kneeling pad on the other side of the caddy and then the gloves and the scissors and other clippers in the cups on the side. 
Now, if your concern is larger gardening tools like shovels and rakes, then here is a quick and easy holder made by attaching two caddies together, head to head, and then zip tying where the top hook meets the bottom shelf, on the sides, and again where the shelf meets the hook. Now to attach this holder to the wall, I would suggest using these closet made clips. Now you can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot or even on Amazon. I will uh, supply a link in the description box. And you can see where they just kind of wrap around uh, the frame and then you can put two screws in the top and the bottom. It holds it nicely in place. Now you would definitely want to attach these with the screws and the anchors that come in the package. You can put one at the top, one at the bottom to each side. But you will notice that these hooks are a little bit wide or a little large for the rack. So I would suggest also first just wrapping it with some tape in order to make a more tight fit. Thicker items like shovels and rakes can go in the slots in the middle and thin items like brooms can fit in the hooks on the ends. A holder like this could also be used for sports items like baseball and softball bats, hockey and lacrosse sticks. Just make sure that you place the holder at the appropriate height on the wall. For another sports gear organizer, I'm going to go back to the same caddy I used to do the battery storage. And for this one, again, if you recall, all I did was take down, bend down that first rung and then attach one of the white bins to the rack. From there, I added a couple of more of the bins. Uh, in this case, I'm using ping pong balls and badminton birdies. And you can see then at the bottom, easily add some of the rackets there to the hooks. And here you can see it hanging on the wall. There's plenty of space for four of the rackets in this case, and then all of the balls and birdies up in the top bins. Another option for bats and balls would be to remove the two lower bins and then to add one of the mesh bags, this time holding some baseball or wiffle balls. And again, you can just slide the mesh through the hooks at the bottom and then the two shelves in between are great holders for bats. In the top bin, you can put a catcher's mitt or batting gloves. These are actually my son's lineman gloves, but you get the idea, you know what I mean. And then here you can see it hanging on the wall, keeping your bats, balls, and gloves nice and tidy. For the next organizer, I'm again going to be using the caddy and hook combo, but this time I'll also be adding the large mesh laundry bag from the Dollar Tree. These are great for holding all of your larger balls like playground, beach, and basketballs. And then you can hang it right off of one of the hooks, along with a bunch of other outdoor toys like jump ropes and bubbles and bubble blowers and chalk and bug catchers and flag football gear and all the rest of those summertime toys. You may also be in need of some pool toy organization and this combo could really help. So all I did was take one of the caddies and one of these plate separators. I secured one zip tie towards the back and then one towards the front and then did the same on the other side. And then here's how I used it. There's some splash ball gear there at the top. And then in the bin are some goggles and pool torpedoes. And then of course, down below are some pool noodles. Now these are the thinner pool noodles from the Dollar Tree. But if you did have a thicker pool noodle, you would need to remove a couple of the rungs there on the plate holder with some wire cutters to accommodate the thicker pool noodles. And then after swimming, it's time for fishing. And I'm going to make a quick and easy fishing gear organizer by again using the caddy with the folded down top rung and the white bin attached. And I'm going to make two of those. And then here you can see the two caddies hung about four feet apart. And in the bins are things like lures and hooks, weights, fishing line, a bait box, and a knife. And then on the shelves, those are holding the fishing poles and then additional gear can be hung off of the hooks on the bottom. Well, I hope you have enjoyed part three of this shower caddy organization hacks series. Don't forget, I will link parts one and two in the description box below and part four is still on the way. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give a big thumbs up and please let me know in the comments if you plan on making any of these and which one was your favorite. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.